Happy New Year and welcome to my first video that is in 2015. I really hope you had a good year last year and I hope you had a good New Year's Eve. So today I'm going to go through some of my best beauty products, I'm going to show you basically the stuff that I have been loving within 2014 that have been my ultimate favourites and hopefully give you some suggestions of what things you can buy for 2015. So there is quite a lot of stuff so let's go straight into it and see what I have been loving. So first things that I want to talk about is skincare and skincare should be a huge thing and a huge part of your life. It's really important to look after your skin and to get a good skin routine for yourself but this is just my opinion and my favourites and things I have been loving. Dun dun dun! It's the Clinique 3 Step Skincare Routine. Now this one actually came in a set that I got for Christmas but if you go to the Clinique counter you can pick up all different ones that are in within the steps. Yes, I use this liquid facial soap for my Clarisonic and it's so like frothy and oh, it's amazing. Step two is the clarifying lotion and I just put this on a cotton wool like pad and I just swoop it across my face and it just makes your skin feel really nice and fresh and clean. So it is kind of like a toner. And then the last step I use the moisturising gel and this is amazing. You only need a small amount and it covers your whole of your face. It makes your skin feel nice and hydrated and soft. They do different steps. So this one here is for combination oily. They do one for very dry, they do one for oily and then they do one for just dry I think. But yeah, so excellent. Love it so much. This is Mario Badescu and it's the Elasto Collagen Night Cream. I have actually spoken about this in a recent favourites of mine, so I'm not going to talk about it too much, but again, it's just amazing. This is actually a 29ml pot and it's last me for ages. So that's really worth the price and it's really worth it. So the next product is actually something that has changed my skin and has changed my body. You probably won't know this but I get like dry elbows and dry knees. I think every girl goes through it where your legs are really itchy as well. And I tried moisturising, nothing worked, it was just made, making it even worse. But this has changed my life. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. It says here, use to hydrate dry parched or itchy skin for the face and body and it is amazing. It reminds me a little bit of Sudocreme but it's not as like thick as Sudocreme, it's just like a nice whipped cream sort of feel to it. Um, and it has lasted me a long time. I just put this on sometimes when I've come out of the shower or at night times when my skin's feeling a lot dry. Um, I'm not sure, I think it is quite pricey but it's a big pot as you can see so it's definitely worth it. The next favourite is to do with hair and I'm sure that most of you would agree with me with this product. It's the Batiste Dry Shampoo. So this again is just a mini one that I got for Christmas because I've actually run out of the large bottles. But my favourite ones are Wild and they do an original one and I think it's called a fresh one as well. That's really nice. Batiste is the best brand of dry shampoo that I've tried. There's a lot of brands out there that do dry shampoo but this is just the best and I can't go anywhere without it. But also these mini ones are really oh but also these mini ones are really good for your handbag so if you're on a day out and you just need a freshen up just pop this in and you'll be good to go. So one of my favourites all time and I love it. I can't live without it. So now it's time to sway towards the makeup section of my favourites. And the first thing that I'm going to start off with is this, and it's the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. You've probably seen me use this in some of my makeup tutorials. It does keep your makeup on and it makes it last all day and all night, and it does make your face feel nice and refreshed and hydrating, which is what it's supposed to do. Okay, so Urban Decay do actually have a whole range of different setting sprays, and it has lasted me a long time. This is my first one that I've ever brought and it's still my first one I've ever brought. So yeah, really do recommend this. Okay, so the next thing that I recommend and that is one of my favourites is MAC Fix Plus. Now this you can use for many different things. You can use this as well as a setting spray. So with this I just use it to make the pigments of eyeshadows stand out more. And yes, I sometimes use it on a foundation brush to try and make my foundation stay in a lot longer 
and you could just use it just to refresh your skin but yeah there's so many different um, ways you could use this and I really recommend it again this is my first bottle it has lasted me a long time I'm only up to here so yeah it's really good and you might have seen me use it in different makeup tutorials as well so it's one thing that you definitely do need and that you should purchase in 2015. This has been one of my holy grails and it's been amazing. This is the Lumi Magique Primer. It's by L'Oreal. But the thing that I like about this and what makes it stand out by any other primers, it does make your skin look nice and silky and there's kind of like a shimmer to it but not too much of a shimmer it just gives you a nice healthy glow you don't need to use that much either and you just pop it on your back of your hand rub it all in your face and yes it makes your makeup and your foundation last long love it okay so next thing is my baby and you've seen me talk about this in favourite videos as well this is the Clinique CC Moisture Surge Cream and yes basically it says what it says it's a CC cream so I wear this for days when I don't wear much makeup it leaves your skin looking soft it leaves your skin looking really dewy and healthy the formula is really good it's so easy to blend in it feels really nice and hydrated on the skin yeah amazing love it so much this is actually my third one so that's saying something so foundation this was really difficult to pick because I don't know there's quite a lot of foundation that I've tried within 2014 and there's only one that does stand out to me and it's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid but with this I just find that it's so easy to blend out it's really good coverage it lasts a long time and I really like the smell. People may be put off by the smell, but the smell of it I really like. I do have other favourites like the NARS Sheer Glow and Estee Lauder Double Wear. I don't really have any drugstore favourites to be honest with you. Um, I find it quite difficult to try and find one that actually beats this one. But if you have any suggestions then put them down below and I'll check them out. I do like L'Oreal True Match Foundation but I find that it does make my skin break out and I don't know I just love this one so much so yeah Max Studio Fix Fluid love it okay so the next couple of products you're probably not surprised that I'm going to be mentioning them because I use them all the time and nothing can compare to them so first is Hoola by Benefit and this is a bronzing powder so I use this to contour or I use it to bronze up my skin and to give me a nice healthy glow it's a matte bronzer and it's so easy to blend it just gives you a nice natural look and love it absolutely amazing but also as a drugstore option I really like the Bourjois Delisti powder and this is really nice as well it smells good, I don't want to try this one then I really would recommend the Bourjois one so Ta-da! Next product is a highlighter and I wonder if you can guess what it is because I'm obsessed by it. I use it in near enough every look and I use it in near enough in every tutorial and nothing can compare to it and I'm sure most of you would agree and it's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It is the best and oh it's amazing so it looks like this and you only need a small amount and that's it you're shimmering all day <laughs> you're highlighted girl you're highlighted <laughs> the thing that I like about this is that it feels so creamy on the skin it's easy to blend it gives you a really nice natural glow it's not too much and it's not too little either and I also really love the packaging as well I love that it comes with its own separate mirror it's an all-time all-round amazing product so yes if you haven't got this highlighter then you need to get it because you can use it for so many different reasons you can use it for highlighting your cheeks highlighting your face you can use it for highlighting your brow bone you can use it as eyeshadow can you guess that I've got it on my cheeks today? <laughs> it's really hard to actually pick what blush you actually love because there's so many that I've tried there's so many different brands but these are my main ones that I usually go to and that look good with any kind of look so the first one is Melba by MAC 
and this is a really nice like peachy corally sort of colour because sometimes I just wear this on its own without any bronzer and sometimes I wear it with bronzer because it just goes so I really recommend that if you're looking for a MAC blush if you're a beginner and you don't know what to go for I would strongly recommend this I'm so glad that I picked this one up now the next one is a favourite of mine and unfortunately it was in a limited edition collection so I don't think you can actually get it anymore but it's called Azalea in the Afternoon and it was from a Fantasy of Flowers collection by MAC and what I love about this is this is a mineralised blush and it's just so like shimmery it's kind of like a highlighter and a blusher all in one and it just looks flawless on the skin photographs really nicely the colour is amazing I'm going to be really sad when this one runs out. So I really hope MAC do actually bring this one back because it's beautiful. Okay, so now it's time to move on to the eyes. And I 100% have to give this one a shout out because it's just changed the way that I do my eyebrows and it's changed the way that I actually shape them. And it's just amazing, it's so easy to work with. And it's the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Literally... This does not move, it lasts all day, as soon as it's on it, eyebrows, that's it, it won't smudge. It's quite hard to get off to be honest with you, you do have to give it a rub with makeup wipe. So 2014 there was a lot of eyeshadow palettes that came out and it was really difficult for me to pick which has actually been my favourite palette. But there's just one that I always seem to go to and I just always grab because it's so easy. It's got many colours in it that I just always use for an everyday. It's quite an oldie but it's a goodie and it's the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. Now the reason why I love this palette is just because it's got so many different like neutral colours in it. And it goes up to like your bronzes, up to your greys, your darks. Sadly I lost my black one which was called Blackout. My favourite eyeshadow from this palette is actually this one here. And it's called Beauty Cool. And this is actually amazing for underneath the brow bone and for the inner corner. That's probably why this is actually my favourite palette. Just because it has this in. <laughs> I don't know if you can actually purchase this on its own. If you can then please let me know in the comments below. And I will actually just purchase so many. <laughs> it's got a mixture of shimmer and mattes. And it really is a good one. I just need to give this eyeshadow a mention because it's amazing. And it's from the Stiller in the Light palette. But you can actually purchase this one, this eyeshadow on its own, which I probably will do if this one runs out. And it's called Kitten, so it's this one here. It's a beautiful shimmery, creamy sort of colour and it's like a champagne colour. So beautiful, literally just one touch and it looks like that. It was so pigmented, so easy to blend out, it just looks beautiful in photographs. Gorgeous! like a glistening goddess <laughs> just to tie in with that I'm going to talk about Makeup Geek eyeshadows now this one here is Shimmer Shimmer and it's very similar to this one so if you've got Shimmer Shimmer then you know what Kitten is like I don't know, you can kind of tell it is very similar um, I'll probably say this one's a bit more shimmery though even though it's called Shimmer Shimmer so this is just a palette that I've made up, they're single eyeshadows, you just get them off um, the internet. And because I live in the UK, it took like about four weeks I think to get here. But it's so much worth it, it's so good, the eyeshadows are amazing. So this is the one that I probably use the most and this is Peach Smoothie. They're just really nice neutral colours that you can just use every day. And I'm going to try and get more cool tone colours that they do as well because they're so beautiful. But yeah, so Makeup Geek eyeshadows are amazing as well so if you get the chance and just grab them there's two eyelashes that have actually stood out for me within 2014 literally <laughs> um i don't actually have any to show you but i'll put a clip in now and it's the eye law number 101 lashes and i've used these in many tutorials they just look so nice they are short which is what i like they're not too like in your face but they're really full and they're just so beautiful, they make your makeup look really nice. Another brand that I've also like discovered in 2014 and that I really like as well, and it's um, Red Cherry. Now these are the number 43 lashes and I really like these, these are probably my favourite ones. Only because they are long and they look really nice and natural and they just make your eyes stand out and pop and just 
feel really nice when you like touch them. <laughs> I really like that it's kind of like a thin lash band as well so it's really easy to get on and it's really easy to hide as well so when you put eyeliner over the top. Now of course for eyelashes I have to mention this mascara, it's the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. The longest name in the world but the best mascara that I've used. I don't really like it when I first use it, it's quite wet and quite like messy but when it's drying out it's really good, it makes your eyelashes look nice and big and full, not too clumpy. I get it off Amazon and I think it's about £3. You don't even pay that much in a like Boots or Superdrug from Mascara. So next time you're on Amazon, pick one of these up and give it a go. This one 100% deserves a mention and it's just my favourite in the whole wide world. This is going to be a favourite for the rest of my life. This is the NYX Black Label Lipstick in the shade India and oh, it's amazing. It's like a peachy bright colour but when you put it on your lips it's really nice and smooth and it's not bright it's just nice and natural and I can't say much about this because I just love it so much I've just gone forever. I find it very difficult to find this I can't find it on the NYX website I can't find it anywhere in the UK like in the shops I got this off Amazon and I bought three um, ages ago but recently I really can't find it so this is I've got two so once this one runs out I've only got one left and I'm really sad about that so hopefully I'll try and pick another one up before then. So if you can grab this then I would really recommend it. Beautiful. I love it. So I can't talk about lipstick without including MAC lipsticks. These are probably my favourite ones within 2014. It's probably the ones that I've used the most. So the first one is called Cream Cup. This is probably a newest one of mine and it's nearly all gone really. <laughs> it's a cream sheen formula and I just wear this on an everyday sort of basis as well. I love pink lipsticks and nude lipsticks, that's my kind of thing. And this one is beautiful. If you're looking for a really nice light lipstick that you could just pop on and just go out the door with, then I would recommend this. It is beautiful, I love it so much. And the next MAC lipstick that I love is called Myth. And it's a really famous one. Everybody knows what Myth is. Um, it's just a nice nude colour. And the thing that I like about this is that you can mix it with different lipsticks or different lip glosses. So you can like tone it down a bit. This is a satin formula. And yeah, I think I need a new one soon. <laughs> if you're looking for a MAC lipstick, you don't have Myth, 100% get it. This is actually a new lipstick that I've discovered and that I've been obsessed with I'm definitely going to try and collect the whole collection get all different shades because it's just beautiful and it's really hard to pronounce so it's the YSL Rouge Volupt Silky Sensual Radiant Lipstick so I've currently got two shades and the first one that I actually brought was shade 1 and this is called Nude Beige Oh, the best thing about this is the packaging. I'm a gold girl, I love gold jewellery, I love gold things. So when I saw this it's amazing and it's quite heavy as well. love that you can see the shade through these um, logos here. So take the lid off and oh, it's just perfect. So that's the first one that I brought and it's actually what I'm wearing on the lips today. The formula is amazing, you just put it on, it's so pigmented. Even if I don't use all the shades, they're just good to look at. <laughs> and the other shade that I love and that I've got as well, number 7, and it's called um, Lingerie Pink. So yeah, again, beautiful, it's like a bright pink colour, Barbie pink colour I like to call it. But yeah, it's just the packaging that won me over on this. You just have to try and invest in one of these if you can. Save up for the whole of the year and put it in your 2015 favourites because they definitely need to be in a favourites. They are beautiful. I could go on about them for ages. 2014 has been a massive year for Kylie Jenner. It's all been about her lips, what she's been using on her lips. And I think it's kind of been revealed that she only uses lip liners. So 2014 is a year where if I don't use lipstick then I definitely use a lip liner. They just stay on all day for me, they're just easy to apply, 
you can make your lips look bigger with them. So the one that I've been loving is this one called um, L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner and it's in the shade Always Toasted. So it looks like this and it's just a nice nude natural colour. It goes with any look and it's just amazing. I'm also loving MAC lip liners. They are the best as well, even though they are quite pricey and you can get more drugstore ones that are just as good, like the L'Oreal ones or the NYX ones. Um, yeah, so this one's boldly bare and yeah, I love that because it's just nice formula. It's really easy to put on. It's a nice colour. I love mixing that with Myth as well. Um, another one is Sleek Makeup Lip Liner. The thing that I like about this is actually the formula. It's really creamy, nice and soft on your skin and on your lips. <laughs> you should always have a lip liner in your bag in replacement of a lipstick. They're just so good to use. I just want to give this one a mention as well. This is the Kardashian Beauty. You have a lip liner and you also have a lipstick on the end. Now this is a recent discovery of mine, so smooth and it does last all day, I couldn't believe it, it's so long wearing, it's such a beautiful colour. I think I like about it is that it's like small and it's like rounded, so it's really good to get into the upper lip like area near your cupid's bow, it smells like vanilla. I don't know what the shade is, um, it doesn't say, it just says Oh Naturel, it came in a bundle with a lip gloss as well, it's called a honey stick I believe. And yeah, as you can see, it's quite similar to the lipstick I'm wearing now. <laughs> you can see the kind of like trend that I have here. So I quickly just want to mention something that has actually changed the way that I put on my makeup and has made my life a lot easier when applying makeup. And it's actually a beauty blender. Now sadly, the one that I have is really dirty and I'll be really embarrassed if I showed you it. It just makes your foundation look so flawless. It goes on so easy. It's so easy to blend. And I love that it's got like a triangle at the top for your concealer to put under your eyes. Oh, it actually has changed my life. If you haven't got it, you really do need to try and get it because it's so easy to use, makes your skin look really nice and flawless and nice and blended in and yes, I love it. It is one of my favourite things to use. Yay, so that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that I didn't bore you or it wasn't too long. But I just wanted to give you some inspiration and give you some ideas on what things to buy and just give you an honest opinion on what I've been loving. Thank you for watching and let's have a great and positive 2015. I shall see you in my next video. Yay! Bye!